Okay, you're live. Welcome back to the Darren Miller Show. <laughs> for those of you that had been with me uh, 45 minutes ago, I am back. I hope you all are coming back as well. Um, I thought maybe we could play a game, try to stump me. Um, pick a song. My daughter has been nice enough to help me out while eating. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, uh, people, a lot of people have been saying, go live, go live, what are you doing? Go live, do something, play guitar. I'm answering the, uh, call. So, uh. Just tell me what, whatever songs you yeah. see requested. Well, I'm going to wait for more people to join because there's people joining every second. So Everybody's just saying, what's up? <laughs> Someone said, when us notice. <laughs> that means good night. Someone said, nice record collection. Thank you. Ask if they can hear it. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear him playing? Someone said favorite death metal riff. Uh. Well, I like to warm up with Malevolent Creation Slaughter of Innocence. It gets the fingers going, and that's what I'm playing right now. The first part's hard. Everyone's saying you sound great. Thank you. Someone said play an intro to any foreign object song. Uh. Oh, that's that's not. <laughs> One second. You have ninety six people watching. Ninety six people right now. Oh, Debbie's on. Hi, Debbie. Nice flip-flops, somebody said. <laughs> I'm not playing very well right now. Wow. I haven't played these songs in a long time, so this is actually good for me. A lot of people are commenting songs. I used to be now I'm not what you seem to forget. Don't try to understand. Alliance or war? Debbie said you sound amazing. Thank you. Nervous and I'm a little rusty, but uh, <laughs> keep going. I'll get better. It takes a couple minutes. Uh, planetary. Planetary. Also, there's a lot of requests. Um, plastic plan. Conditioned or unconditional. Inside 
someone said, you played Love Gun by Kiss in Omaha and I loved it. Play it now. Sunset on Saturn. Also, somebody said, do you like Nirvana? I love Nirvana. In fact, I have the early Nirvana records. I like Bleach and Nevermind. I'm not into In Utero because I think Nirvana got pushed past the brink of commercial success to the point where um, I kind of lost interest and so did Kurt, obviously. But um, yeah, I love the first two Nirvana records. Classic Plan. <laughs> You're getting a new request every second. Okay, what other? You got Beat It, Slither Away, Still Unstable, Still At Large. Someone, someone said, can you do sunset on, sunset on Saturn, please? Keep getting close yet far. Also, sunset on Saturn. I'm trying to get all the requests. Let me just tell you everything that people, well, what I see. Dressed in Decay, Slither Away, Tell Him to Play Freebird, Far Cry Behind, and then everyone keeps saying that you're awesome. Just to oh my god, attached at the hip. Okay. Mom's watching. James 
really wants you to play Slither Away. <laughs> It's hard to remember because it's been so long. Someone said play a homicidal rant by Malevolent Creation. Uh, that one's hard. Slither Away is hard and it's on the new album, so... Um, People are saying that they love your flip-flops, by the way. Alright, I'm taking my goddamn flip-flops off. <laughs> um, You're probably not wearing the best of shoes inside your house right now, either. <laughs> All power to slaves, a number one roller ranger. Please play with a smile, friendliest of fire. Okay. I have to play a song. I'm just mentioning okay, but, uh, so that eventually... If you're talking over it, I don't think people will be able to hear it. Okay. <laughs> People are saying they want dressed in decay. Somebody said, people really want to hear with the smile friendliest of fire. Me, man. There it is. 
That was a stump. A song from Synergy Restored. I uh, just did an unconditional. Um, um. How about Thanks for the Ride? Is that Tim Rowera? Um, uh, I don't know. Someone named Jeff I'm Roberts. Dry, I'm driving to him. He went home from you and says, You look bad. The truth is in your hands. Situation is hopeless. I gotta find a way. Finding a way back into the hearts of the legend that I can my dreams. Now I'm taking it back and turning it to gold. I'm a lucky guy, don't a friend of me, my size. You look bad, you can't be alive. Take me back to your planet. You know, I'm really bothered by the friendly fire weapon. <laughs> Alright. I've seen a lot of requests. A lot of people said Darren's Jam from CKY4. Oh my god, I don't remember that. I have to listen to it. I haven't seen that or heard that riff in literally since that, that came out. I have to go over that. And I do want to make a song about it, over it. Because um, I get too many requests. I have to do a song with that. So I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. As a B-side or something. What else is there? Um, December Higher Power. You stumped me. <laughs> what? You don't know that? I, I, it's, it's never been played live. Especially since the recordings. All I remember is the... Oh. Victory over Neptune is coming a lot. Familiar realm. Someone said, play to all of you because it's his favorite song. The universe is in your Happiness is your best. Does it appear to me? 
as I'm talking, it lets you down to find a reason me. But they never talk your way. Uh, someone said he wants you to play Halfway House or A Better Place. Also, next play They Come in Peace. <laughs> Moth commented close yet far for those of us who missed it. <laughs> what was Lola, the other one? Lola just, um, they come in peace. Lola just came up and said, Mom wants to hear him play close yet far. And I was like, he already played that. She can hear you play anytime. I mean, come on. We're taking other people's requests. Sorry, okay, I'm not playing this for that. I haven't played this in a long time. I just had it. And one of my favorite riffs on there. I'm laughing at Bob's comments. Dad, someone said, can we get a peek at bedtime story? Uh. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how to... Also, mom and somebody else... Oh. <laughs> I like this comment. Uh, synergy songs I haven't played since. I mean, the record's sitting in a, you know, and that's it. Mom, mom, you know what? If you want to critique me, you can come sit in here and do this. All right, somebody asked if you can play any Nirvana. <laughs> Contagious! Here we are now! <laughs> Entertain us! You have almost 200 viewers, by you the know way. What you should play? Um, My wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Come on, keep going. Um, I want to make a, better place, a better place. A better place. Oh, wait, wait. They're asking for Sarah's mask. It's got you down. Oh, 
to join mine When no one's around Thinking thoughts of the suicide Is it your fate? It's got you down That. Uh, someone said Bianca. See if he still knows behind the screams, please. Oh, all right. Let me give it a shot. <laughs> Play "Baby" by Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just talking over a beat? Oh my! God. I love that comment though. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that stuff is. That's like asking me to play a Minnie Mouse song. <laughs> it's not for me. It's hard to play an electric guitar. That was good. acoustic it's just oh. i have i remember it though but it's really hard to play an electric where were you from the new 96 campaign <sighs> I, I can't think of it right now. Oh, someone said who's filming. It's his daughter. Hi. Also, um, someone... People keep asking for Beat It. Because I, I am stumped. I gotta say, <laughs> people keep saying rats. Everybody's asking. I know, and I'm trying to figure it out in such a in record time. No, I feel bad that like I I don't know which one to say because there's so many. No, 
Little Mermaid theme song. <laughs> Um, the boardwalk body. We played the song tour, so it's a lot easier. It's late in July, and the minutes in the city descend under the sand. There was nobody else could be seen. Sat the party where the nightmare meant to be. On Sunday, shrill in the midnight spray. Universal culture shock. Oh, let me put some more distortion on here. What's going on? Yeah, I got you, Mark. <laughs> I can't remember that chorus riff. Stumped again. Uh, Fisherman's Wharf Part 1. I think we need to do this more often because everybody loves it. They're okay, saying we're, we're gonna do it every week, and I'll announce it. But keep going, keep keep, keep going. I'll, they're I'll saying sniped.
because of Okay, wait. Can I tell you the most? First, we have a question. Are you ready? Someone said, what kind of practice amp are you using? Show them, right here. This crate that I've had for 30 years, something like that. Also, can I just tell you like the most requested songs and then you decide which one you wanna play? Yeah. Okay, so Knee Deep, Promiscuous Daughter, Santa's Coming, and alright. Oh ever mom and everyone is saying ninety-six bitter beans. Well, promiscuous daughter, but also, wait, hang on, you have a question, you need to answer some of the questions too, someone said, have you thought about making another instructional DVD? Of course I have, the DVDs are kind of obsolete, so I have to learn this, uh, how to get a YouTube channel going, and all that stuff. Not just your family name. You never don't complain You know I can feel the shame I don't need that again What can be done with my What can be done with my promiscuous daughter What can be done with my promiscuous daughter What can be done with my promiscuous daughter Don't look at me like that Uh, they're saying that this is, someone said this is the best thing that's happened to him in quarantine. Wow. <laughs> also, too, probably. they keep saying, well, a lot of people are requesting songs that you already played, but um, they keep saying Santa's coming. <laughs> Also, 
Also, they want an update on Synergy Restored. Synergy Restored, I am waiting to sign the contract from the record company. I don't want to say what it is. You guys probably already know because it could fall through. You never know. But I'm waiting to get the contract. And I'm going to sign it. And we're going to schedule it for the next couple of months. If something happens and it does fall through, which I know it won't. I'm just saying if, you know. Um, we're going to put it out ourselves. Because the campaign was very successful thanks to you guys. And this is why we got our record deal in the first place. So if it's going to be out in a couple months. As I said to some people probably already know that vinyl and CD... Uh, companies are shutting down because of the coronavirus but also because of business and lack of business or whatever it is so it's going to be hard to get physical formats out there but we'll figure it out so someone said this is the best thing that's happened to him ever so wow well what does he want to hear <laughs> caleb comment what song you want to hear but for now they want to hear a number one roller rager <laughs> something that they haven't heard from Synergy Restored. So if you want to play something new, but if not, let me find, if you don't, Caleb said he wanted to hear Shippensburg. Okay. Um, throw yourself inside. Wait, hang on, really quick. Okay, okay. I'll ask him that in a sec, Vince. <laughs> Still writing the hard riffs to play, I don't know why. Thank you. 
Yeah, people want you to take a break and answer some questions. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Ask some questions. Let's throw yourself inside. That's going to be on Synergy Restore. You can actually hear a rough mix version up of it up on YouTube actually right now. It's okay. Some esoteric. So. Awesome. Mar right, questions. Yeah. Not just questions, but here's just some nice things that people are saying. So Mark said, been a fan for 20 years, have two tattoos. Thank you for all the good music, memories, and great conversations. Thank you. Tattoos and are always, I mean, you can't deny somebody's loyalty if they have a tattoo that's going to be on them for the rest of their yeah. lives and i love tattoos so send me tattoos send me tattoos that aren't even affiliated with with me or anything i love tattoos especially really good ones i don't have many just my wife and kids here but um it's not for me but all right maybe it please use them to to identify people so Someone, Corey said, been a fan since I was 16 and I am now 36. 20 years yes, of me. my auditory cortex being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's nice. Thank you. Someone said, what happened to your flip-flops? I took them off. <laughs> now it's my feet. <laughs> Someone said, Darren could play a fart noise for 20 minutes and I would still be <laughs> on here telling him he's a god. <laughs> Also, they're asking if you'll play and play on acoustic next time. Next time, I'll try to get my hands on one for sure. Um, um, do they want me to play anymore? Because I, I, uh, I'm loving revisiting these riffs that I have not played, especially the lot, the ones that we never played live. And uh, it's cool, <laughs> it's cool to uh, to revisit that. Um, someone said thanks for being you. Um, Thank you for being you. What size guitar strings do you use these days? Whichever ones are in front of me. I mean, I won't. I don't like to the gauge like low gauges, um, because they don't. They're not as powerful. But I like my. I favor eleven gauge, eleven, twelve, twelve, somewhere around there. Um, but if I don't have that available, then I'll just put on whatever. But I do need to have a wound G. So, worst case scenario, I have to use a really low gauge D string for um, my G string but now they make packs of strings with the G's already wound so that's the best way to go someone said will you get back to the UK we were planning on it we had the tour booked uh, one thing happened that we had to that I had to cancel we had to cancel and then the coronavirus happened so right now uh, our booking agency satellite touring is Working on, I already got the dates and the the, uh, the, the, um, the plans for the second leg of the U.S., which we're trying to do in September, October. But you, we're definitely going to get to Europe. Definitely. How, how but I'm going to wait till the new records out. How many records are behind you? <laughs> how many records are behind me? Um, I say there's about sixty in each thing here. So one, two, three, four, five. A lot. Two, the three, answer is a lot. <laughs> 3,000. And then there's some over here and some down there. Yeah, I collect a lot of vinyl. Um, That's my passion. Uh, I figure the collection's probably worth 
maybe a hundred thousand. People are, someone said, what horror movies would you recommend and any movies you've been watching while in quarantine? I watched Ma today. I like that movie. Yeah. Um, Halloween, the new one. I love it. I was addicted to that for a while. I was watching it every day. I just, I just love it. I think Jamie Lee Curtis should have won a, an Academy Award for that. I, I think that it's screwed up that the Academy ignores horror and exploitation films, but a good performance is a good performance and those awards are fixed anyway and very pretentious. So you won't see me tuning into that stuff. It's just a, it's just a show and tell and bragging of like social status clothes and handbags and designers. It's commercial for designers. It has nothing to do with movies. So, but anyway, yeah, Halloween. Oh, uh, let's see. What else have I watched? Monkeys VHS. I've been taking out a lot of VHS for some reason because there's a, my son, you know, monopolizes the TV with Fortnite, so I go downstairs and there's a, TV, there's a VCR CD play, or DVD player there, and I put in the old uh, VHS tapes. I watched Friday the 13th Part 3 the other day, uh, some Monkeys shows from, the, from 1966 that didn't last long. I, it had, they haven't aged very well, but I do love the Monkeys. Um, Speed it up. There's so many questions. Madman. Um, <laughs> God. I'm, I've been watching more of movies than you. Honestly. Yeah, he's been. She's been watching more movies than I have. Um, but what's one? Oh, High Tension. I actually made them both cry. My I didn't cry. cry. They, Lola did. Yeah, it, it was pretty. I sh should have thought twice about that. <laughs> High Tension is brutal. It is a brutal movie. It's almost as brutal as Inside, which I have not seen the American version of yet, but the French. Inside is unbelievably brutal. I'm going to ask you two questions at a time <laughs> because there's so many. Okay. So out of the records behind you, which one would you take out if your house was in a fire? Uh, Kiss Japanese Originals 2. <laughs> I'd have to take out a couple, honestly, because... Uh, uh, let's see... I got all kinds, it's all Kiss stuff, like Greatest Hits from Rio. Um, <laughs> Someone said want to play Fortnite. <laughs> rock and Roll Over with a different color. I don't know how to play Fortnite, I always get killed right away. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I have the most obscure Kiss, oh, you know what? This will end my Kiss obsession. The error copy of Alive 2. Do you still have your original Sleepaway Camp VHS? Yes, I do. Um, this is the error copy of Alive 2. It goes for like $500 because it has mistakenly extra songs listed on the back that aren't on the album. So I think I would take these two. And somewhere I have the Elder from Turkey. It's on Dallas Records. I would have to run out if I was on fire. How many Sleepaway Camp items do you have in your collection? Oh, I got the DVDs, the box set, the vinyl, a couple copies of the vinyl single of the theme, uh, VHS, Blu-ray, T-shirts, sweatshirts, everything, because my wife gets, you know, Felissa gets boxes of stuff, and sometimes I'll jump in and I'll grab something. <laughs> if I had something to uh, show right now. You know, Sleepaway Camp is the reason why we got together and the reason that Bianca's here and, you know... And Lola and Tommy, and oh my God. unbelievable the power of that stuff. But I can't find anything right There's now. There's so many good questions. What's your favorite Friday the 13th movie? Part 3, because it's both scary and unintentionally funny. And I like to watch it in 3D. Whoever, Jeremy is a real fan. He asked, you still going to do that comedy show with Chris Rabb, Chuck Draper? Chuck Draper? Yeah, well, we've um, reimagined it um, in a different way. It has a different... Um, synopsis now but yes I mean me and Chris are dying to work on something together but he's so busy and I'm so busy and of course now the coronavirus we had planned on doing something before the virus and um, you know everything's on hold he just had a daughter he, we we talk about you know being a new dad and how difficult and rewarding it is and um, you know we, that's all we do is just talk right now but yeah I'm planning on doing um, a short dramatic film with Phil Bowman, who's my one of a really good friend from the UK. Um, he's become a uh, a filmmaker, and um, he was going to go with us on the European tour to document that, and that didn't happen. So I came up with a with what I think is a pretty cool story for a drama. So someone, I'm just going to answer this really quick. Somebody said, "What's it like having Darren and Felissa as parents?" 
<laughs> so. <laughs> Did you turn the camera around on yourself? No, I'm not showing myself, but, um, mm. honestly, I feel like it's, it's, like, I feel like I'm being interviewed right now. Be it's, honest. like, it's fun because you guys are fun and take us places, and it's cool to, like, see all these people that, like, love you and stuff, and everyone's saying, like, such nice things, so, yeah. And, you know, keep, keep going. Keep. Yeah, and just... Go on. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, you know, be honest, I hate it. No, I'm, I'm so proud of all my kids. They all have different personalities, um, and there's, of course, there's similarities, but Bianca's been on 4.0 4 in high school for years, <laughs> and Lola is very creative. She's a great dancer. She is good at makeup. She's very girly. She likes all that stuff. Tommy is an incredible writer. He knows, already knows how to read very well. They say 10th grade, you know, level. So, uh, they're just great. It's, it's a great thing to do. You know, Whoa, I'm this proud is, of you guys. Thanks. This is a really interesting question. I already know the answer though. If you could bring back any pet you had in your life, but in human form, so that he or she could guest on your next album, which pet would you bring back? I think we, we know Benny, the answer. Uh, Benny. Yeah. Benny, I had actually got Benny. She was a Jack Russell Terrier mix. She lived 17, 17 years. I got her in 98 in Westchester, Fraser Pet Store. And she went everywhere with me. Dime bag, Daryl met her. Uh, Phil and Salma met her. Uh, she... Met a lot, she met a lot of rock stars and um and when she even like when she was just about to pass away she still acted like a puppy she did and then one day i went downstairs and she was bloated and looked like a different dog yeah and i don't want to go into that but i love that dog and that was hard and I, mm -hmm. I would love to bring her back because she had a very unique personality yeah she was almost like a human in yeah. some ways someone asked if i was in the slayer video yes um, also, you're also in Tales of Halloween. Mm -hmm. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> Someone yeah. said, which girl has the same birthday as Dylan, Darren Miller? I don't... What girl? You're I don't... June 8th, Tommy's August 29th, and Lola's March 4th. I know. Um, Felissa's May 23rd, and I'm May 21st, so we have pretty much a three-day party. Yeah, and then me a week later, so... Yeah. <laughs> we usually go to Palm Springs and... Mm -hmm. Celebrate. Mm -hmm. Doesn't always turn out the way it should, though. Stop. What is your current? What is your favorite current me death metal band? Current? Yeah, like your favorite death metal band. Um, Malevolent Creation, Gore Guts. Actually, within the boredom of this quarantine, I actually had took my four track. See this machine right here. I took my four track and I recorded probably my favorite death metal album of all time is Gore Guts Erosion of Sanity. And I got down on drums with a $15 microphone, which isn't here right now, recorded myself playing drums to all the songs from the Erosion of Sanity, and then I played guitars on all the songs from Erosion of Sanity. And Luke LeMay is the leader of Gore Guts. And for years we had been friendly. We had been talking for 20 years, you know. And I did liner notes for... for the re-releases of the Gorguts albums and all that stuff. Well, I sent him, <laughs> we were talking on email, and I sent him the, some of the songs that I recorded for Erosion of Sanity, and he never talked to me again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the funniest reactions to what I did. I just, I mean, if you guys, and I do get cover songs from uh, songs that I've written, and I... I listen to him and I try to say, oh, you almost have that part, you know, you almost, but I said this and for some reason, I guess it freaked him out and a fan, because I'm I kind of fanboyed him and uh... <laughs> he never <laughs> talked to me again, so I don't know. He probably thinks I'm fucking weird, but I did it because there wasn't anything else to do. Any chance of a Canadian tour after the virus? We did Canada, London. Um, it was a pain in the ass to get in and it always is. But I don't know if there's a Can I think there is a Canadian date on the, the next leg they're working on. Also, I'm missing on the new itinerary is a is a Philly date, and I'm trying to get them to work on. That's that what too. people were commenting. I don't that understand why. They I mean, like, why I, you I you know they satellite works really hard for us, and they're an amazing 
agency. And they're so helpful and they get us the best deals and they're so cool and the guys are great, Logan and Dimitri, and I love them. And um, they just work really hard to get us good shows, you know, being that this is a new band and um, it's just phenomenal. And we're just trying to get a Philly show. I mean, there's just... How about New Jersey, someone said? New uh, Jersey, I think... For Jersey, you either have, either have to go to New York or Philly. Um, um, so we're going to try to get a Philly date. Favorite snacks? I can't, you know what? Potato chips. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Um, they are, the... are a big resource of why I, as a person, I do gain weight. I eat uh, a lot. But funny enough, I like raw vegetables. I eat them That's by true. the pound. That's true, right? Even like cauliflower, like weird raw vegetables. I love them. I, I don't know. I just really like vegetables. Lettuce, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, onions, all that, all that shit. Um, are there five movies that you consider perfect? Um, Halloween, 1978. Halloween, 2018. Um, Sleepaway Camp. Don't Go in the Woods is perfect in that it's so bad that you can't. It's like a train wreck. You can't take your eyes away from it. Um, let's see. I really like... God, there's so many that I love. There are movies that... Misery, The Game, um, Carrie. These are all movies that you showed me and I didn't like. Yeah, well... <laughs> So what said the raw vegetables is why you still look young? <laughs> you know, I thought that. People say, you know, I, I think that if you want to, if I do look younger than I am, I think that it has a lot to do with um, being motivated and um, just doing what you like, doing what you love. I think that a lot of people age because they're, doing things that they don't like to do. And I know that it's very hard to get in a position where you can do whatever you want um, and get paid for it, but I, I don't know. It, it, I'm, I'm rambling on on that. I don't know. I appreciate that, though. This is a funny question. I will be question. 44 in May. This is such a funny Going question. Going on 13. <laughs> Speaking of lettuce, do you partake in the devil's lettuce? <laughs> the what? That's a weed. Do you smoke weed? No, basically? I don't. Um, <laughs> Maybe that's... I, I Drugs, I don't. Someone asked if you're 25. I was 20 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what is the worst movie that you, for some reason, still enjoy? Again, it would have to be Don't Go in the Woods. Or you know what? Death Nurse. Death Nurse 1 and Death Nurse 2. Check those out. They are really bad, and I know a lot of people won't get the joke, but they're really bad that they're good. I mean... There are movies like that. I mean, some movies are just bad, and they can have multi-million dollar budgets and be bad. Some movies can have no budget and be bad. And then there's movies that have no budget that are good because they're so hilarious. And So check out Death Nurse 1 and 2. They're fucking funny. Do you, know, do you own any screen-used props from movies? Um, you know what? I have the sheriff's... Let me see that for a second. <laughs> okay. This is the sheriff's hat from Don't Go in the Woods. Um, that is the actual machete from Don't Go in the Woods. And I have, of course, my autographs from Jason and the Don't Go in the Woods poster and all that stuff. This room is a total disaster. But, You're uh, such a fanboy. Yeah, Betsy Palmer right before she died. So You don't need it. I thought you were going to turn it on me. I was like, are you kidding? Um, what was I going to say before? Oh, perfect movies. Um, John Waters, Serial Mom, Desperate Living, Female Trouble, and almost Pink Flamingos. But I love Female Trouble is my, probably my favorite comedy, along with Polyester, Serial Mom. Serial Mom is probably the best John Waters movie. So that is a perfect movie. Go go watch Serial Mom. Mom is going to love this question. It says, will 96 do a music video by Felissa? <laughs> is that, did Mom ask that? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I know she's going to see it and love that. That would be interesting. I mean, we rarely work together. I don't know why. I guess it's it's the extremity of... It's because one of you has to be watching friends, us. <laughs> but, you know, doing business with family. 
That might even be harder. But yeah, we want to work together. I love. I want to work together with her. We do. We've done a couple movies together, and uh, usually, if someone says, "Oh, we don't have anybody for their for this role," and she'll say, "Oh, my husband will do it." But um, yeah, I mean, we should have a project, and if she's watching, she should agree. I mean, we we should work together on something. You have. Someone said, has Darren seen Hereditary? I've seen it, but I don't think you have. I always get that question. No, I haven't seen it. I don't like supernatural thrillers or horror movies because I am only afraid and get scared by things that are possible. I know it's not possible for Michael Myers to get shot six times, but... And That's still a walk classic. Around, but in a way, it's supernatural, but I, I like basic horror, like Misery. Two people in that movie, for the most part. Things that are possible scare me. Things that are not possible, like, uh, you know, Leprechaun or whatever. I, yeah. Hereditary or, you know, uh, what's that one about the, uh, the STD that keeps going around everybody? I don't know. Yeah, you do, because you told me to get it. I forget. Anybody know what that is? The STD that keeps oh, going? Oh, fo it follows. I don't remember. Yeah. I, Someone I, asked if I knew the twist ending to Sleepaway Camp before seeing it. And if not, what was my reaction? Uh, I saw it when I was like seven. So I don't. I think when, when we watched it, didn't you like turn off the ending or something? Well, we fast forwarded through parts. Yeah. But you, wa you and Lola watched Misery at a very young age. And yeah. you guys liked it. Yeah. I don't. I, I never believed in censoring anything unless it was, you know something they shouldn't know about but you know at that age but you know a lot of parents are like you shouldn't be watching this and, and then they complain publicly and to try to get people to censor things and that's that's weird i think the kids should be exposed to as much information as they can so that they can be they somewhat desensitized and then later on not have a hard time dealing with it um do you have any like rare cky stuff just lying around yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, fuck. Like, what exactly? Um, I have the vinyls and the CDs and all the albums, you know, multiple copies. Nothing rare, except I do have... Um, I was trying to clean up this room, and if you were to see it, you would be able to tell that I wasn't very successful. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a bunch of backstage passes. I think that they love that answer. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think this is a prototype of a watch that never got made. And I just found this. It's pretty cool, but I don't think we ever made them. Someone said you're the greatest CKY artifact. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. But that's in the past. Someone asked if you have the rare master discs. The master di Oh, do you mean? No. Well, I don't place much importance on them. I place importance on uh, test pressing for vinyl, but the master discs for the Island albums and no. I think I got rid of them a long time ago. I gave them to somebody. Oh, mom rejoined. Do you still have an oil vinyl? Yes. Let me see if I can find it. Also, who's the best band that you have toured with? Guns N' Roses. And the show with Metallica is probably one of the biggest highlights. It is in the top five biggest highlight of my life. I mean, that was the, one of the best nights of my life. I can't find the oil vinyl, but do I really need to prove it? <laughs> they know you have it. Yeah. Also, people want to buy the watch. <laughs> Also, whose idea was it to do the four different colors for volume one, the label or you, and why was it done? Uh, I forget whose idea it was. I think it was just something that came up. It might have been me, because I, I like different versions of things. and um, But I think the label might have come up with it because they wanted, when they signed us and they released the album, they wanted, you know fans that were already like die hard to collect all four of them and then red would be the mainstay one but they made five thousand of the other three colors and i think we should have done green i don't know why we did orange because it was it's almost impossible to tell the difference between the orange and the red but we should have done green or maybe even yellow and so it should have been blue red green 
and purple, which is the colors of Kiss, I guess. <laughs> uh, these co- some of them are funny. How many CKY belt buckles were made? Uh, you'd have to ask High Fidelity, the old merch company. I have no idea. Ooh. We made 96 Bitter Bing tour shirts that, you know, they, they went so fast. I made logo shirts that sold out really quick. So we do need to start printing new merchandise for 96. And uh, I'm talking to two artists that I love. My favorite artists, Michael Bernard and Travis Smith. Travis Smith did the uh, cover to Carver City and Acoustified. And Michael Bernard did the cover to Galactic Prey. And they're amazing artists. I love them. Incidentally, Michael Bernard also does Garbage Pelt Kids now. And he sent me this print that he did of Atom Bomb. If you don't know what Garbage Pelt Kids are, they were a huge thing in the 80s. They're kind of like fidget spinners. You weren't allowed to have them in school. If you got caught with them, you got the attention. They were just stickers and cards. Do you think you were a better songwriter back in the day or now? I think I'm the same. I think that I don't let myself get away with the stuff I used to write. Like, I could never write a song like Knee Deep today because I wouldn't find anything particularly special about it. But, you know, the songs on Volume 1 and IDR, most of them are what I'm doing now, except maybe improved. So I guess I I guess I would hope that I'm better now. Because Synergy is, like, the best album... I've ever been a part of and that's that's hands down and everyone that's heard it is just like oh. what do you like better parker or jackson guitars parker and jackson in that story i mean it's a well-known story i was signed up with them for a very short time and got a little bit too buzzed on stage one night and i couldn't play it and Instead of keeping my mouth shut, I got into the microphone and I said how much I hated them. Stupid move. They got really angry. We parted ways and then went back to Parker for a while. Do you still? I apologize. I apologized to them and I still do. It was a terrible thing to do, but I don't remember it. It was one the only one of two blackout nights of all the shows that I've done. I had two blackout nights, which I totally regret. Do you still have your CKY ring? Yes. Uh, I can't find it. Somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Yeah, I got some interesting items in here. (laughs) Mom said everyone makes mistakes. Love you. (laughs) The Alliance pendant from 2005. This is the CKY ring. I was wearing it around my neck for a while. Solid gold. Um, handmade. Custom made. My dad has one that's a little smaller. Oh, someone just asked, do you Custom have the spinners. Alliance necklace? Um, that's a Jason figure. I just have a couple foreign objects pendants. Oh, somebody asked if Pappy, but they said Gary. Does yes, he have Gary. A... Gary's my dad. Do, does he have a CKY ring? Yes, he does. Does he still wear it? No. That's why mine is tucked away. <laughs> Mom said my wedding band. <laughs> Mom's comments are killing me. I don't know why. This wasn't her wedding band. I, I got her uh, ladybug wedding ring that she never wears. But we have our names <laughs> on our fingers, so. T. Wedding rings. Are there keyboards on the new album? Um, Guitar synth. Uh, and keyboards, yes. There are keys, guitar synths. We didn't overdo it. We used it. We spiced things up with, with synth. And a lot of the guitar solos are synth, especially mine. And then Ken um, did some does synth work. And Saman Ali, who uh, works in the studio with us, he did he did a little bit of background stuff. But it doesn't. It's not overwhelming like like some of the stuff in the past. No, it's it's a very good album. There's going to be twelve or thirteen songs on it. And it's really, really good. Have you watched? I said it because Ben <laughs> Forms. Ben oh, Forms Ben Forms. Matt. Uh, Matt. Uh, my wedding band. What was his last name? <laughs> I don't know, but my wedding band was made by him and so was your jewelry. Yeah. His name is Matt. 
Oh, God, I can't remember his last name. Have you watched any of the new Joe Bob Briggs stuff since Felissa has been on there? (laughs) Yes. Of course, we all have. I I know the theme song. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Can you give us some names of the songs off the new album? There's Wish Me Dead, Vaudeville's Revenge, Fire Skyline, um, Blood Rock Mania, Taken by Surprise. Oh, Matthew Sit. Citron Bomb. Cit- Citron Bomb, yeah. Taken by surprise. Uh, Why Am I Still Alive? Condition Unconditional. Slither Away. Um, bedtime Story. I know there's more. Throw Yourself Inside. Um, and two more. I, it's hard to name songs. Well, Brandon said i'm crying that this is happening i'm going to have to go to sleep soon you have such an amazing family you've done so much to inspire me in a musical sense cky foreign objects ask city and more were dope if i never fanboy punish you and get again please take care of yourself you're a badass um east goshen fo performance still owns i'm very grateful you guys decided to do this god bless and uh, i probably should cut it out right now before it gets too long and boring (laughs) so Let's do this every other day, once a week. I'll let you guys know my Facebook. I've been told that Facebook is kind of irrelevant, but it's the only social media. <laughs> follow him on media. Instagram. Yeah, I don't go to Instagram. Though. He doesn't run it, but still follow him so that he can get more popular and then start doing Instagram lives. There's the big cartel store if you're looking for vinyl, um, CDs. I sign everything. Um, working on merch. Uh I want to say thank you guys so much. This is fun. I'm going to get more warmed up for the next time I do this so that you guys won't be able to stump me. Um, I am so appreciative to you guys. I want to do this, if not once a week, then every other day because it's a lot of fun. So thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. I hope I haven't been on too long, and I love you guys. So take care and be safe. Yeah, join next week.